You might have seen those sci-fi movies in which AI bots create other AI bots. They all take over the world. That future might not be that far off. In this video, I'll be using Auto GPT to give it some commands, and it will create AI bots in order to get it done. Auto GPT is a mini AGI, which basically means artificial general intelligence. You might have used Chat GPT, but that is just barely scratching the surface of what's possible. With Auto GPT, this changes the game altogether. Auto GPT, in fact, improves itself, builds other AI agents, and does your task seamlessly. The best part? It is completely open source. You can actually start using it by the end of this video, and I'll show you how to exactly do it. I'll be showing how to set it all up, how to install it, as well as. I will be building an entire project using AutoGPT. We'll be creating our portfolio website using it. So let's see how it does and let's get onto my laptop. Hello guys and here we are on how to set up and run AutoGPT in just 5 steps. And let's start. Okay, so these are the 5 steps that we'll be following. All the links are down in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So you can follow along. Now the first thing that you need to do is go over to GitHub and download this repository. Uh, how do you download it? Click over on code and download zip. Okay, that is what you need to do. If you have Git already installed, a better way would be to clone this repository. Now, once you have this installed, you will see this folder, which is Auto GPT Master. So let's look at the next steps and start with it. The second step is to install Python and Visual Studio Code. I've already done that, but uh, you can just search up on Google and start downloading it. Here is my Visual Studio Code. The next step is install all the dependencies and let's start. Okay, so before that, uh, we've installed Visual Studio Code. So let me just open it up, open and then the downloaded folder that we have uh, downloaded. So Auto GPT Master and let's start. Okay, so this is something that you will be seeing once you download and open the entire folder. So let's see what is the next step. Next step is install all the dependencies and run this one specific command. So let me just copy this command and run it in the terminal. So where is the terminal? Click on terminal, new terminal and it should pop right up. So just paste the command over here in the terminal and click enter and it should download all of the dependencies there are. So once you have downloaded all of these dependencies, next step is to rename .env .template file to .env. So how do you do that? Uh, you come over here, this is the file for it. And now just click on rename and remove the template and the dot part from it. And you're good to go. Now, apart from that, we also need to add our OpenAI API keys. Where do we get it from? Uh, you basically get it from platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. So if you haven't created your account yet, just create it and then go over to this particular website. Then click on create new secret key or uh, delete this key because uh, I'll be deleting it. Okay, create secret key and then copy this. And once you have it copied, just come down and you would be seeing this open AI key, right? So let me just paste it over here and we are good to go. Now you can add other things as well. So for example, you can add the token limits, you can change it. Uh, you can even add your Pinecone API key, which is used for databases. You can add other things as well. VV8 is for again, database. Then there is image stabilization, Dolly. Well, hugging face. So all of these different things, but we do not need it right now. We can just start right off. So uh, let's see the next step. Next step is to run auto GPT. So we are finally on the last step already. So let me just copy this and paste it over here. Okay. Now just paste the command here. So which is Python 3 dash M auto GPT and it should start your GPT bot. Okay. So let's start. What will we name the AI bot? So basically what we need to do is uh, go over to the internet and search for the best headphones out there and then give me its price. So a list of all the headphones and then give me its price. Will the AI be able to do it? Let's see. So AI's name would be headphone AI 
and let's see headphone ai what is it exactly so this will be an ai which finds the best pair of headphones out there and give its price from amazon okay so it should basically find the best pairs of headphones uh, it should uh, give its price from amazon and there are five goals so what are the steps it needs to take the first step would be to uh, find and research the best pair of headphones which are budget friendly okay so it will uh, basically go over google and search for budget friendly headphones uh, let me just remove this yeah uh, the second goal would be to make a dot txt file so basically a text file and list all the top headphones okay then the third goal would be to find the price of each of these headphones on amazon okay and the fourth and the final one would be to find the best one from the list and then the last one would be to stop executing and let's start so it is now thinking and doing all of these things for us uh, the next project that we'll be doing with this ai is to make our own portfolio website also so just stick around till the end because we'll be doing that as well so over here what it's doing is i need to find the best pair of headphones blah 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 it's using the google command and uh, let's see so we need to authorize this so there are a bunch of options first is authorize second is authorize and give a number to it and uh, then to exit okay so we'll just authorize for five commands now and this will run continuously we don't have to do anything it runs continuously so over here google has written the best headphones uh there is razor kraken uh there's studio headphones sony headphones you can see all of these things right but uh, it is now sorting it out and writing it to a file use write to file command and uh, write these top headphones in the file so let's see what it does so it is now creating a file called headphones.txt and if you want to see all of these files that is creating you can just go over to auto gpt workspace and you would be able to see all the things listed over there so now it's opening amazon right now it's analyzing the page and it's doing all of these things by itself i'm not doing anything let's see what's the next thing so come on written answer gathered from the website okay so it is now analyzing amazon's website until then let's just see what it has written in headphones.txt it has given us six of the top headphones and it is doing it all by itself so now as you can see you can uh, probably see all the philips over the year headphones and all these other philips headphones and it's finding the price for all of them next it is writing the top headphones.txt so we can just see that and that comes out to be philips shp9600 which is at $84.99 now uh, another thing that i'll try out is make our own portfolio website as a freelancer uh, using this can we do that let's see so i'll just run the command ai name would be freelancer gpt okay freelancer gpt will create our freelancing uh, website and yeah what designed so what are the different goals the first goal is to find good freelancer uh, portfolio websites and uh, find its code right uh, through github maybe the second goal would be to clone and get the code for the portfolio websites the third would be to stop the execution okay so that is what it needs to do first it needs to find good freelancer portfolio websites second clone and get the code of these websites and third is to stop the execution or maybe actually we can add some customizations and then stop the execution let's see so let me just close the headphones file because these are not created anymore 
So now what it's doing, it's creating the HTML file. It went through Google and now it's writing some files. So index.html file, it's already creating about services, portfolio, contact. It's uh, analyzing index.html and then adding this style.css in index.html. Let's see. So here you can see style.css is added and now it will design the entire site. Okay, now it's going over to different sites, taking inspiration from them. So over here, it has added some uh, styles to the style.css file. And uh, now it is reloading the HTML file in the browser to see the changes. So let's just ask it to do it. Go ahead and see. So now it's analyzing the website uh, by itself, the website that it has made and seeing what can be improved okay so here is the website that it has created and this is the workspace for it i've just added the port and over here you can see the entire website it has created about services portfolio and contact sections i think it is responsive let me just see yes it is even responsive and there's all the portfolio contact me details uh, input boxes and everything and submit button so like the entire website is created of course it does not look that great because you know there was no human feedback at all it was just ai doing its own thing if you are interested in learning more about ai then do fill the form link down in the pinned comments as well as in the description this will help me understand who all are interested in getting an entire course about ai tools and we have recently launched our own guide to freelancing course so go check it out it's all about how to earn money online we've done practical demonstrations and practical things for example Example, building our own portfolio website in the second week we've covered how to automate social media and create 30 days worth of content in 13 minutes and a lot more there's uh, sales and negotiations as well as finance in the fourth week so go check it out if you like it do press the like button do subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video